so guys again uh, I want to benchmark both the SSD the crucial one and uh, the Kingston A400 so right now I have installed operating system in the crucial drive which is C drive and E drive is blank E drive is the Kingston drive so you can see the model C drive is here and E drive model is this so both the SSDs is having 250 GB of storage 240 I'm sorry so right now the first benchmark we're going to start for crucial one let's see if it's going to impact or not because right now crucial has the operating system and the Kingston drive is formatted and not having anything So this score is almost similar to the Kingston one which I received when I was benchmarking Kingston with the operating system and for the ride speed I was getting 380 or maybe 350 plus but let's see what will happen with the crucial one let me show you the box for the crucial <coughs> SSD <clears throat> okay so seems uh, crucial drive is getting higher score than the Kingston one for both read and the write speed
not sure why this score is really low Kingston it was somewhere 40 or maybe 65 or 63 okay so this is the overall score for the crucial so it has been done let me take a screenshot Okay, now let's start the benchmarking for Kingston. So Kingston, let me show you the space. So this E drive is the Kingston one and it has nothing in it. It's blank formatted. Okay, so while it is bench marking my hard drive, so let me show you my configuration of the system. So I'm using Intel i7 4790K edition and uh, default frequency is 4 GHz but it can go up to 4.8 if I will overclock but by default it's 4 GHz and it can go up to 4.4 without any overclocking memory is 12 GB so I'm using Kingston not Kingston the Vengeance Corsair Vengeance 4 GB stick in two slots so total 8 GB of vengeance stick and 4 GB of the uh, I'm forgetting mm, I think it's HyperX RAM so total of 12 GB installed memory so window is activated okay so here is the score for the read so I think it's almost similar to the crucial one 
let me open the crucial so you can see the side by side comparison of the crucial drive versus kingston so this screenshot this one on the left side is the crucial so you can see um i think kingston is performing better than crucial oh my god it's far better but it's not a deal breaker i mean if you are getting a kingston drive or crucial drive so both are performing amazing and having a good read and write speed so if you have kingston you don't have to buy a corsair i'm sorry the crucial one and if you have crucial one then you don't have to buy kingston one or replace i would say because both are performing almost similar only marginal difference of maybe 5 to 3% so it depends on overall if Uh, the drive is empty or formatted or it has some space in it so it yes it does matter because previously i benchmarking kingston with the os and i was not getting that kind of score so it was way less than this and uh, let me tell you th that uh, when i benchmark the kingston drive so i installed the os somewhere in june month so right now it's october almost ending october so maybe that is uh, that was the impacting factor but you can see okay so thank you guys for watching the video have a good day